Hi, this is Agata from mobilereviews-a.ca and today we're going to take a closer look at the Surfer case by Enerplex. Real usage, real reviews. Mobilereviews-a.ca First best thing about this case is that it's solar powered and the second best thing about this case is that it has a spare battery and the spare battery can actually be charged with the solar panel. This case was suggested to us by Brian Weber, and based on his recommendations, we reached out to Enerplex, and they were willing to give us a case to review. So after we are done with this review, we are going to give this case away. So the Enerplex Surfer is not waterproof or shockproof, but it will protect your iPhone from everyday bumps and drops. The edges of the case are far enough away that you can install a third-party screen protector. The entire case has a nice rubbery texture to it, so it's not going to slip out of your hand easily. Installing the case is fairly easy. All you have to do is install the iPhone into the case and then the snap the top of the case onto the top of the iPhone. The case will add an extra half an inch to your iPhone it will double the thickness of your iPhone and it will increase the weight of the iPhone by 80%. Accessing the buttons on your iPhone is pretty simple with this case. And there's a large cutout for the camera and flash of your iPhone. Now the edges of the case are pretty high, so parts of the true, true tone flash will be blocked. Charging the case is done through a micro USB connector and unlike some of the more popular cases, the Surfer allows you to sync your iPhone with the case installed. Headphone jacks that are larger than the Apple AirPods will not fit with this case. As a side note, Enerplex does not provide a headphone jack extension um, so that you can use any other headphones. Okay, onto the spare battery. The Enerplex has a 2000 milliamp hour battery which provides an extra 100% of battery power to your iPhone. You can choose whether to charge your iPhone or not by holding down this little black button for three seconds. There are five LEDs at the bottom of the case. The blue LEDs tell you the charge in your spare battery. Before we go into our, the solar panel, and if this is the first time you're watching one of our reviews, I encourage you to subscribe. Our channel is all about helping you get the most out of your iOS devices. We do trip, tips and tricks, news and reviews. We put out two to three videos a week, so there's always something for you to watch. The last LED is red and is tied to the solar panel. If it's red, that means that the case is charging. For the solar charging, the Surfer uses a thin film solar panel for emergency charging. This solar panel is integrated with the Ascend Solar CIG's solar technology. And from what we understand, the Ascent solar panels are quite flexible, so you can drape them over different surfaces, which is quite neat. There isn't anything that leaps out at us, but it does look different when compared to the other case with a solar power charging, the Snow Lizard Extreme 5. So these are the features of the Surfer Enerplex solar power case. If you're wondering how another solar powered case fares, um, check out our review of the Snow Lizard Extreme 5 and the video will be given to you in the annotations or in the description below. I'm Agata, I'm a one of the reviewers at mobilereviews-a.ca. Check us out on Twitter, Google+, and also Facebook and keep your uh, phone powered throughout the entire week long with the Enerplex Surfer. Thanks for watching. Bye.